good. Oh, so it's recording now? Yeah, I've been recording. Oh, yeah, so you can just edit it on the back. Yeah, 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 we got. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Get the chains right. Get the chains Wait, right. Because no, I'm going to ask you about the chains. Get him on the chain, too. Okay. I like this. Yeah. I know this is my first time somebody bring like, his artist and it's his son. Yeah. That's, that's, what, that's what I mainly want to talk about. How many we had with us? Well, how many we had with us? We had Promise, Riley, Davis, BB, and Kadea. And he's six. Wow. Yeah. He found me, so... <laughs> I would have bought all of them. They would have been all back there. But they would, I mean, we got enough chairs, yeah, as you can see. Yeah, they would have <laughs> they'd have been out. Yeah. Um, welcome back to the show, the number one show on the Is Earth, the number one podcast on the Is Earth. But today we have a guest that I'm sp- specifically excited for. We have today we're talking to Young Inky. Yes, yes, what it do, boy, Young Inky, big Inky. Welcome to the show. Me. You didn't come by yourself. Oh no. Nah. Usually, usually when other artists come by, come with other people, they bring people with like shysties and like oh, yeah. people with weapons and stuff. But this is the first <laughs> time there's like kids in here. Like, yeah, walk me through this. This is my son. This is my son, Dayon. Go ahead. You can talk. You can talk loud. Mr. Dayon. Tell him your name. I'm Dayon, and um, we made a song today. Some of y'all might have heard of it already, but like. The most importantly, this is my son. This nigga tripping. That's my son. He's, his birthday, which every birthday in like what? Four, four days. days. Four July days. July the 10th. So yeah. he's a Leo too. No cancer. He's a cancer. Oh, That's yeah. the before. The Leo's 25th. I'm sorry. So, yeah, he'll be 10 on the 10th. Is there a difference between, what do we, from your perspective, is there a difference between a Leo and a cancer? I don't know. I ain't into that horoscope shit. Me, me. I'm yeah. not into, I don't know. It's, I don't know. The only reason I started asking questions like that was because mm. people was like, yeah, what's their, what's their sign? I'm like, what do you mean, gang sign? Yeah. But, I'm sorry. What's up <laughs> with you, though? The other day was 4th of July. What's up with you? I was chilling. I was chilling with my kids. Um, I did a lot of celebrating since I got off the box. So, like, lately I've just been chilling, like, day by day. How long you been off the box so far? I got off, what was it, May 15th, so... Solid two like, months. Yeah, almost two months, yeah. Congratulations. Appreciate that. You know What's the mean? first thing you did when they snapped the thing off? First thing I you did. I grabbed a bottle and I started drinking. Then you somebody couldn't drink else while grabbed. You no, yeah, 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 I did. But I'm saying like the very first thing, I went back home and I just popped bottles. I'm like, yeah, you feel me? So but the first thing I actually did, I probably I had a, a welcome back outside party and mm-hmm. the at Oasis at the O for real. Mm-hmm. So that probably was like you feel me? That probably was like a week later though. Okay. So in between that, I was just having fun. I know. I know. Recently, you were with. You were in the whole. Um, you were. You were at the party for the for the new liquor at. at what's the, What's it called? La Boca. La Boca. La Boca tequila. And yeah. what's up with that? How is Scott Baby? She's. She. Oh, like, she. Let. She a vibe is like. I didn't honestly. No offense. I didn't know about her until like a month or two, three weeks prior. So I'm like, my manager like. Scott, DJ Scott, baby. I'm like, oh, who is she? Like, you feel me? So I don't watch Bay, so obviously I wouldn't know, but her personality is crazy. She lit. She a vibe. Mm-hmm. Down to earth, real down to earth, you feel me? So just being around her was just like genuine. It wasn't no, you feel me? Like, she didn't run me the wrong way or none of that. It was just all love. We locked in and all that for real. Mm-hmm. What was yeah. the what was the vibes like? I know personally, I just saw that y'all took a couple pictures together. Like, what did you did you take it to a club or something? Uh, no, nah, she had, uh, the pictures was just, uh, we had a panel, she had an interview, mm-hmm. you feel me, and I was a special guest on her panel, for real, mm-hmm. so we answered a bunch of questions, stuff like that, you feel me, it was just, it was just genuine, so she had a, uh, what was that, she had a, a event at the O2, mm-hmm. you feel me, and then I just tagged along with her, with my management team, because it wasn't really about me, it was about her and, yeah, and yeah, the tequila yeah. and my manager, Okay. You feel me? He okay. was just head behind the whole. This, this is not a sky baby. The promo interview. one. So I'm trying yeah. to let's get back to the inky. But I mean, yeah, it was she good relationship. To how, have. how 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 have how have you been? Like, what's what's been going on with you? Like, have you been depressed or like what's? No, nah, like, I just been, I just been living, man. I just been li- just besides the rap, I just been finding ways to start businesses. You feel me? Because it's not always. Guarantee that rap will work, even though you can be good at it, you can have a certain image. It's just something always to fall back on. So I just been focused in a different lane and just to teach my mm-hmm. kids. You feel me? Like all of them not gonna be rappers. You feel me? They look up to me and stuff like that, but just to know it's business, all like 
it's more than just rap, just like being okay. an actor and stuff like that. Like people really fall back on Plan Bs and Plan Cs type stuff. Okay. You feel me? Um, what's the what's the last? What's the uh, I'm trying to get into more so? Cause honestly, the person. I'm gonna just skip right to it. The mm. song I've been bumped to a lot recently is the is the new song with the not. It's, I mean, it is new, but a little bit, but a little underrated. Little Chris and you. Oh, that I've been a. bumping that song a lot. I so like I want to talk about you more. So before we, before, I want to start this interview off with your recording process. Uh, my recording process. Gen generally, like generally, or just that song. Not no, just generally. Not uh, just generally, uh, it's just. Like dude, like a lot of people, like they eat a stack, a, a, a pack of Starburst before they start type. Oh thing. no, like, I mean, gotta... I go like when I record, I focus. I don't drink when I record. You feel me? But when I go in there, I just be focused. And I like normally, I just be punching in like whatever the vibe is, whatever the beat is. The only time I write is when it's a melody stuck in my head. So I'm like, mm. let me write this down. You feel me? Other than that, I'm just punching in, freestyling, having fun in the booth. It's just cool. And then like. I just shoot a video, like probably the same day or just next day, or like I get it done quick. Mm. You feel me? So it's fun. Okay. Um, another question I have. I'm trying to get all the personal questions that I have off my head. For sure. Offers. You're a man of a lot of tattoos. So what? What is your favorite tattoo? You have like almost a million. Is that a right a number? <laughs> I don't even. No, I can't even tell you. You don't got favorite. a favorite. I mean, yeah, I, I never see this. seen that one. I never this one say that. I say fuck you. It's in the middle, man. So I Damn. guess you could say this is my favorite. You feel me? I say fuck you. I did it myself. You did that yourself? Yeah, when I was like 19, I bought a tattoo gun. Mind you, like the real, like, but like Facebook days, I only had like this side tatted and I didn't have nothing on it. Yeah, nothing on that. And I'm right handed, so I bought a tattoo gun and stuff. I did a lot of this. It looks sloppy. So a lot of them a lot of them are yourself? Is that is that arm that's by yourself? No, this, like a lot of this is like mostly me. Okay. You feel okay. what I mean? Like, so like that brick wall was Yeah, like, like I colored it in like a lot of just scribble scrabble shit that I need to get touched up, but I can say is I did it, you feel I me? Mean? Mm -hmm. Like even my leg, I did my stomach, stuff like that. You feel I me? Mean? But I don't like I guess this is my favorite. No, the tattoos right here. That's a that's yeah. a, that's a tattoo I inspired to have. Like, yeah. did that hurt? Like the tattoo right here. I mean, yeah, I did it like three times because you, you did really it three got it. Yeah, you got to let the ink sit in. Like, and I still gotta go over it or get somebody to do it. I got this inspiration from Lil Wayne, my favorite okay. artist. He got like the world in the his world. Head. Yeah, see, yeah the I'm world, tapped so, in. I'm tapped you feel in. me? So that's what I got it from. That's what I did it. Okay. Oh yeah. Um. I'm sorry, it's kind of it's kind of a curveball question, but we're kind of getting to the 18 and plus over, so cover your ears type thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is this is a question I feel like a lot of young men should know. Mm -hmm. We're talking about ladies here. Mm -hmm. We're talking about threesomes here. Right. What can we? What what can a man? I know uh, you can't just you know. It's not just a matter of following two girls on Instagram mm -hmm. and then. Get them to get right. like what? What can? What is a mm, shit? Hit my mic. What? What can you give a man to threesomes? Because like me personally, I I haven't been able to come back since, and I need and a lot of people need to know. Oh, uh, rephrase that. Say it again. Say it again. Hold up. Okay, let me just make this. Let's break this uh, down. With one plus two. All right. You need to have a threesome ASAP. Mm. What should you do? <laughs> I know it's usually you're not just about to walk up to two girls and be like, "Yo, let's do this." But I want to hear your regimen. All right, so. Uh, let's see. I actually, I mean, I just, I let, I, I go with the flow. You feel I me? Mean? Like I just, I literally just had this conversation on another interview. So my thing is, I was hit. I had a female up. You feel I me? Mean? I met with her before, but this is like my first time actually chilling with her. So I'm like, bring a friend if to make you feel comfortable. This and that. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Just in case, you feel me? Just don't be on no, cause a lot of dudes out here be on some weird vibes and mess it up for dudes. Like so, females be on alert or just be like, they be working, they be working yeah. smoke detectors. So like, I don't even holler at females out of cars because dude that holler out of cars be mm -hmm. making it look bad for us. So long story short, it's just I invited her and I said bring a friend. She bought a friend. You feel me? And then her friend was the one that got it popping the whole time. Her friend was just there for her comfort. You feel me? That's I just go with the flow. Mm. So at the end of the day, 
guys, what we're trying to say yeah. is it's not it's not up to you to to yeah. to hit that plate. It's up oh, to the two levels. Oh, it is, but I I got but a baby, I got a baby mother. She like girls. Okay, you feel me? That's a different breed though. That's like three like, percent. But it's not a lot of niggas. Yeah, like so like I got two baby mothers that like girls. Oh, and I had both of my baby mothers. Look, my bro, my life crazy. But my baby mother like girls now. We supposed to be in the poly, so I can ask her anytime. Like, let's have a threesome. She'll do it. No problem. I remember watching your Instagram story one time, yeah. and it was it was home secu- security of somebody fucking your house up. Fucking my house up. Uh, it was like yeah, like was it? You don't remember? This this probably was like three months ago. So two fucking my ago. house up, or was it like for real? Like what you mean? Like fucking my house, like flipping shit over? No, she like? was like she's like yelling the boat. She was like. Oh, the the door opened by itself. I don't know that, what it was. The, I don't know what it was she was yelling about, but she was yelling and that was... Or was it like when she was sniffing my dick? Okay, that's, that's, let's that's, go to the next question. <laughs> <laughs> the next question is, um, what's your, when you, when you, when you, when do you, when you, when you're, when you're in the studio and you're recording a, a, a song or so, like what is, what is your, pre- like what is, what is, Three key things that you listen to for a beat, like three uh, things a beat has to have. I, I I don't know, cause I'm so versatile, so it's like I don't know honestly. Maybe like, let me I switch mean, the question it, up. Maybe yeah. like three things that you can give to a maybe a young uh, uh, um, up and coming artist to give them. I mean, like three. I things would say they have in their songs. I mean, I would say if you can like. You can hum to a beat, but if a if it instantly just catch you, it's just put a melody to it. So like I don't I don't really like when I go I got beats sitting in my email for years that I don't like I just don't know like so when I listen to them it's just like they just gotta catch me. But I don't know it depends on what what thought thought process I'm in and what mode I'm in. So I don't know mm-hmm. I can't even give advice because I don't even know myself. Okay. You know? This is this is maybe this next question is maybe too personal or so, but you 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 were one of the first people to leak that a um a one beam was locked up. Yeah 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 yeah. So talk to me about that. Like, how did you? Hear I mean, that? I I heard about it because I was like, because I talked to I, that's my best friend. I talked to him every day. You feel me? I told him I'm like, something ain't feel right. You feel me? I'm like, I talked to bro every day. I'm calling his phone, this and that. I'm like. So I got contact with people closer to him. So I'm like, what's up? Like, boom, boom, boom. They ran it down to me. Like, damn. You feel me? So I didn't really put it out as soon as I found out because it's crazy because the day he got locked up, I got locked up the next day after. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, eh, I thought I was going to sit for my court day for a month because I was already on the box. You feel me? So I got booked, but I got a straight walk through. Squared it out that bitch for real. But when I beat my case, that's when they was like, okay. He said free flip. I call him Flip. That's his nickname for me. I call him Flip. You feel me? So that's when they really found out. Uh, mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, you don't really have to go into detail about yeah. what everything is about because, of course, these hey, people I mean, are dying he, to he, know. He good. He good. He, he home now. He just. I'm because me yeah, personally, I've been trying to get him on here to talk about it personally, yeah. but it seems like I don't know. I maybe. mean, yeah, yeah, you gotta wait till his case over. So you, it's going. I mean, not. To, I mean, yeah. I just, I just got a lot of questions to ask. And that's yeah. all. I mean, yeah, you, 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 you'll catch up. I'll tell him. Okay, okay, you heard it here on yeah, camera. He's going to tell. He's going to relay the message that A one beam should come here. Okay, mm. boom, bye, bam. For sure. <laughs> uh, talk. I know you're a man of a lot of jewelry. Mm. Talk about some of the A one on one tools that you should use to buy. Because a lot of people they just go on jewelry and they just spend All X right. amount and you just and they get flaked see, out. See, see, I learned from Bing. Okay. Mind you, I'm from over east when I was rapping. I ain't Oh, you from over east? Yeah, I ain't had none of this shit. What? I look like from over west. I started getting that. I started linking up West Side niggas to get West Side money. I heard, I saw somebody commented. You look from over west. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody commented on my shit like, damn, you know, like, so I'm hating that shit. Talking about, yo, you, you from, like, they want me to stay broke. Like, we're, not worried, we're not worried about it. You feel this, me? Man. So yeah, it was just a joke. But still, um, I'm from Old East, um, out in the mud, down the hill, Bradford Street. You feel me? 800. 800 block. I was I lived on the 900 block, but I always went up the street to the 800 block. How close you got to be to a block to get eight, the word, the, the number 800? 800, it was just like, 
I mean, that's all I knew, just like being young, just all I knew was like 800, you feel me? It's like 800, like, I don't know, I was young, just getting tattoos on my face, like Soulja Boy and Lil Wayne just motivated me to do a lot of shit for real, like, so that's what I did. But I could definitely tell from listening to your music that yeah. Lil Wayne is definitely inspiration. Like, you feel me, like, really like that. I ain't as lyrical as yo, but you feel me? I, I know Nobody I, is I, 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 Yeah, I know how to put, I know I put some movies together for real, so it ain't about nothing, but the jury just, just came from motivation from him. Like from being around Beam, like I ain't had nothing. I used to wear his chains, like his little chains. You feel me? We used to go out, wear. His, so it was just motivation. So when I started getting my own shit, like, like this, I ain't gonna lie. The watch, my watch, the watch is my favorite, honestly, because it's, it's a watch. Like you feel me? This, that was a birthday gift. He gave this to mm -hmm. me on my birthday. When I was on the box. You feel me? Got my son on it. Forever, bam, bam. You got the name on it. Yeah. Engraved on the back. Okay. Yeah. You feel me? My um. My son uh, passed last year in June, for oh, real. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's been like a year, for real. I actually got my son right here, so I got this bust down, Is this too. Maybe this might be a T-person of a I question. I know, we, we Gucci. We Gucci. How do you feel? How do you feel? I mean, it's, it still hurt. Don't get me wrong. Like, I had, like, like, it hurt, like, for sure. But it's just, like, I'm not going to sit there and be depressed, you feel me? Because I still got to keep pushing for my other kids, you feel what I'm saying? So it's like... I learned how to deal with it like that. The situation was terrible, but I mean, it is what it is. Like, I, I'd rather it for it happen the way it happened than it to happen to somebody else can. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't no telling how I would react if somebody called me like, oh, your son not breathing. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So ain't no telling how, you feel me? So I can, so I, I'm an optimistic ass nigga. So I look at shit like that. Mm -hmm. Like, don't, like, you feel me? Like, don't over the course of time and shit. Like, I still cry about that shit. Like, yeah, I mean, let's, let's, switch, like let's switch the subject. Let's go to something a little bit. Um, a lot of, a lot of Baltimore rappers particularly don't like to mm -hmm. talk about the uh, incarceration and I mean, yeah. the, the jail system. Um, the, um, how, was it like was the was the food good or like to, what do you like what, what's to tell me like what, what the advice do you have you know what's to crazy these young kids you know what I'm saying I don't eat beef or pork you don't eat beef or pork I don't eat beef or pork so like I was over that I was over that bitch fucking up bread fruit and like it was rare that you had chicken because I'm thinking everything beef or pork whole time they don't serve pork in the jail system I heard I don't know how true that is but everybody said that. You feel me? It's because it be Muslims know. and stuff over there. Yeah. So I heard they don't serve pork. I heard everything be like beef hot dogs, beef uh, the sloppy Joe, or whatever the burgers, whatever it is. So me thinking like, either way, I'm still not eating because it it's beef mm -hmm. or pork. It don't matter. I'm not eating. So I was just like, I was just, yeah, just it's phony. It depends. That whole cell phony, the the bologna and all that. That shit is terrible. I was not eating that. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So. They've been good days. Like, okay, I can eat this. You feel yeah. me? Like, yeah. The so, my next question. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm sorry. I'm kind of flicking through these questions so much. Uh, you're good. I'm trying to keep it versatile, but yeah, sure. it's. I mean, I've watched interviews of you. It's just like these niggas is just not asking the right questions. Like, I'm not trying to ask yeah. you. Like, like, yeah, like what school you went to? Like, I mean, like it's like it's cool to know what school did you? What high school did you go to? I went to Augusta Fell Savage. Um, what is it called Augusta Fell Savage Augusta? Institute. For visual arts, Augusta. I went to Augusta. Oh, I know what that is. I know what that is. It was connected to Baltimore Talent. I know what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah I went there and I dropped out. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the next question. Oh, shit, I had a question specifically lined up. Okay, so for your, your, your I, I mean, I like to look at you as a leader. You know what I mean? Sure. As people as look at your upcoming artists. What are some, because you're, you're not just a rapper that just started rapping last year type thing. Right. What is what is some of the things? Well, if you had to give key things to younger artists coming up that like kept you, that like what do you, what I'm saying? What kept? What feel like key things you can give to younger artists coming up that that kept this longevity in your career? Key things is just uh, be like uh, I was consistent as hell in the beginning. I was too consistent. Like one time I dropped four videos in one week. So just in the beginning, four videos in one week. week I did wow. that before. Like, just be consistent. How many weeks though? It was only one week, <laughs> and just like an image. Your image is like everything. Like, if you ain't got it, get it. Because all this, this you spend money. You spend money to make money, basically. So your image is everything. Your likeness, marketing, all that. Like all that matters. So you can't just. And then you gotta think business. 
Because this 90% business, 10% music. Mm-hmm. Easy. 10% music. That's that's a lot of people don't even, they never even 90%, heard of that phrase. 90% business, 10% music. Can you kind of ex- explain that for people watching this? So, listen, when you go in the studio, you're making music. But when you get out of that studio, you know what you got to do? You get booked for shows. You got to do press runs. All that. You got to do business with another videographer or a photographer. That's business. Then you got to uh, get it, get the uh, the beat, buy the beat. You got to get it, all that, like the lyrics. You got to write down the lyrics so your lyrics can pop up on all these type of web um, websites. And then... If you sign, you gotta get permission from your label to drop it. So it's like it's business. Like then you gotta pay the engineer. Like it's business. The only thing you, the only ten percent you doing is what going in there rapping. Because you nice. gotta pay the rap. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's and then that's just only just a little shit for real. You got billboards, this ads. Like you be surprised. Ninety percent business. You be surprised how much they charge you for them billboards. Ninety percent business. Tell me. Um, what was what was you know. Let's, let's go back to when you had your. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's. Let, I'm trying. I I keep my shit like on the highs and lows. So you better go back. Good. Where, where, around around the first time we had your first child, mm-hmm. what was going around? What was going on around around that time? Like what was that going time, on? I wasn't even rapping. My first child. My first child when I was 17. I was in a group home. I was in a group home. I uh, if I was a board of child care. That's I would think. Was that Catonsville? I think that's that's no board of child. Go to child care is out, Milford Mill, mm-hmm. Randallstown area for real. I had my first child. You feel me? So it was just me, just being a young nigga in a group home with a little freedom. When I got the chance to freak off, I freaked off. But I freaked off on my my girlfriend's best friend. What? Because my girlfriend left the group home and went to Delaware. So you fucked with her best friend? Yeah, but I, it's crazy because her best friend was. Fuck them, my best friends, them best friends be the devil game. Yeah, but like, so that was like the closest thing. So they gave us a little freedom, and I'm like, my first baby mother white, you feel me? She cool. No, she's not cool. She got on my nerves. But at the time, she was cool, but yeah. So it wasn't nothing going on. I was in a group home. Then mm-hmm. they, they put me out because I was I was really dragging. What was going on around in your life when you started rapping and like everything? Like, when I started was, rapping. Like, what was going on? It was like, yo, let me get in the booth. Like, what was going on around there? Cousin Moose motivated me. It's being around him. So when I got out of that group home, it's being around him. And I was like, damn, like, he's shining. He, like, you feel me? Like, he making it look good. And, like, that's my cousin. Like, so it's just like, I can do it. So when I did it, I did it. And mm-hmm. the first person that reached out to me, like, for a feature, when I did it, was President Debo. What? Long live David. Long That's live David. I, I ain't gonna lie. I was like, I wasn't a fan. How was that vibe like that connection with President David? It was, it was just like we knew each other. Like when we linked up, it was like it was meant to be. You know what I'm saying? It was like it was meant to be. But I wasn't like, I wasn't a fan of David because I didn't know who he was until my man's put him on. So my man's put me on him. Then I'm like, I'm what year was this? Like. 2015, 14. <laughs> yeah, niggas know like, yeah, niggas four, know like 15, days, 14, man. something like that. So I was doing my research. I'm like, that's when he used to uh, do the uh, the shit on YouTube. He used to drop the freestyles. You feel me? No, Rabbit. for real. Yeah, so he used to be in that bitch. I told my niggas yeah. to go and get it. So yes, yeah, so I did my research. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm hard. So one time I was just grinding on Facebook. Like I got hot off Facebook. Fuck, no, Instagram. for real, you like, did. Facebook, that's where I, I remember you I'm back. Grinding, boom, boom. I think I woke up on Instagram one time. He hit my DM next to my baby mother, like, that's real? Like, that means just hit me up, wanna hop on a remix. So we I did a remix, then he hopped on a remix of a remix. Oh yeah. And it was like we was bonded ever since. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So you're a man of many relations. We talking about females now. Yeah. For everybody watching, I, cause I got a lot of it's a lot of <laughs> niggas that watch my shit. And they probably don't got no bitches. I know they don't. Gonna get so, so ladies gonna watch this. Let's give them some game. Yeah. Um, what what is the foundation to build a strong relationship? Should niggas be out here putting their dick in anything, or should niggas be out here finding their wife? I right, listen. I'm a, I I keep it real. It's in our nature. It's in our blood and bones to just explore and want more. To you feel me? Fuck all. But putting it in anything, then I can't relate to that. But uh, to a female, it's like you do it. You put your dick in anything. Like <laughs> to and you feel me? But it's really not. But for me, 
I I tell the truth. Females respect it. Like, the like it's been time. Behind you. Your door gonna block behind yourself. You need to make sure you turn the twist the knob. Make sure you twist the knob. It's unlocked. So just twist the knob. You know what I mean? What are you saying? I'm sorry. So with me, like I tell the truth. Females love the truth. It's like I stayed in relationships after I told my girlfriends I cheated. Like I like I like it's like it gotta be like my mother raised me not to uh, lie for real. So. I'm like, yeah, because when you lie, another lie got to come behind the lie, and then another lie. So I tell the truth. You feel what I mean? Like, it is what it is. Either you're going to stay with me or leave me. Mm-hmm. Majority of the time, well, all the time, basically, they stay with me. I don't lie. So that, fellas, tell the truth, bro. Tell the truth. Bro, you got nothing to lose, bro. Like, if you lose something, there's more, there's plenty of fishes in the sea, bro. That's, like, that's how I live my life. I live. You only live once. Yolo. That shit is tattered. Yolo tattered. That shit is tattered. He has Yolo tattered on him. You only live once. Live your life how you want it to. How you want to live it? Cause ain't nobody coming this world with you. Ain't nobody going out this motherfucker with you. Nobody. You feel me? Are you a religious man? Do you really? No, I'm atheist. I don't believe. I only believe in what I see. So it's like when I was younger. Atheist? I'm atheist. That mean I don't believe in nothing. I know what that means, but yeah, it's just like I'm just I'm just sorry. It's crazy because but I respect religions. Like one of my best friends, Muslims. Killer, Nacho Banger. That's my best friend. That's I met Beam and Cuffy, dude. Tell tell you, tell you should me. tell him to come here too. Okay, uh I'ma <laughs> tell him. He get on my nerves, I'ma tell him though. I'ma tell him. If I you feel me, run into him, because me and him. We bump my heads right now. That's my brother. I love him for life. But okay. we we bump my heads right now. It's just brother shit. Yeah, but, yeah. Just fit, fit, um, this the story, man. So it's like I asked you about religion and shit. Like I don't know, bro. It's just with me. It's just easy. I just think it's easy with relationships, bro. Because I know I can always move on. I ain't no ugly nigga, so I'm like a bitch always gonna want me. And you should just feel confident about yourself, mm. like real shit. Like I don't know. That's just me. My mind is like I like being through group homes and all that. I mentally prepare myself for life, cause like group homes prepare prepare you for life. They do. Hell yeah, they can. They'll put you through college and all that. But like, just me, just being like an outcast, just watching all these different kids coming in and out. I'm learning. Like I don't know. I just really just sat there and just taught myself, just to be for myself. Cause if I'm if I'm not happy, how can I make somebody else happy? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I live for my kids. Like I got nine kids, bro. Like I live for my you kids. You said you have nine I kids. Got nine kids. So bro. if you have one more, you, you know what that means. I heard that, but I don't. <laughs> you I don't know really. It's true. I gotta see it. I got <laughs> saying this believing with me, but I ain't. You found me. <laughs> you guys, I'm true. on child support now. Let me let me know if it's true. And it's I'm gonna let you know if it's true. I want <laughs> one more. I only want. It's crazy because I want ten. Because my mother always told my mother, my father was a good father. My father got killed when I was three. You feel mm-hmm. me? So my mother always told me good things about my father, but she told me he won 10. So like my father ain't here, I'm gonna live up to that. I'm like, I'm gonna have 10, I'll take care of all 10. You mm-hmm. feel me? So putting a nigga like me on child support is crazy. Like, Cause I take care of my kids, real shit. Sure. Okay, let's go to the next question. Um, how long you been growing your hair? That's going on like- Let me see if they locked themselves in all the night. I mean, I've been growing my hair for like, like three years now. My hair grew three years. Like three years. Like I had dreads, and I cut my dreads. I was growing my dreads for two years, mm-hmm. and then like my hair grew fast. Like I'm ready to dread this shit up. This shit ready be. This shit ready just lock up. Now, the reason why I ask you that is because. Me personally, no homo. I want you to see how long my hair is, mm-hmm. and I want you to see if my shit, if I can get my shit braided or not. I want you to see. If oh, like, uh, I mean, shit. You know what you can do? Man, get some twisties, bro. Get some twisties, bro. I'm telling you, that's how. Like when I first start my hair, I start getting my shit twisted and make your hair grow faster. You got to put like coconut oil, and I put do grow, like, bro. I'm, That's gonna make your hair go fast. Then you lump before you know it, you're like, oh, I can get my shit braided. I'm I'm a nigga from the trenches. I ain't never seen a nigga with this much hair. Like I ain't I, like this, this is as far as I've gotten. Bro, so I don't know nothing about up, growing your hair. Bro, twist it up. Keep it keep it nice and neat. You feel me? You might I'll keep getting it retwisted. Don't let it lock. That's how I, like that's how I started my uh that's how I you started like, these. You mean like don't get locks type thing? Yeah, and I'm saying don't get locked. Don't let it lock up. 
Because it will that. I, I never heard of that term. Sorry. Like, all right, so you get twisties, right? And you keep getting twisties. Eventually, it's going to lock up. But okay. get twisties enough where as though you can just keep getting it done, you feel what I'm saying? Then take it out and get twisted again. That's how I start growing my hair like this. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Before the locks. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm trying, trying to grow my hair up. Because yeah, if you just keep it like that, it's I saw, like I saw. I, saw I, was, I was I was scrolling on the gram and, mm-hmm. I, and I saw my bitch like a picture of a nigga. He had long hair. He had long hair. So it's time to get. So my it's, hair. Time, <laughs> it's, it's time to get them. It's time to get them ludicrous. You know what I mean? You just 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 get it twisted. <laughs> then you ain't really got to do nothing but get a shape up. Feel what I'm saying? You good. You don't get in there. Thank you for that advice. I'm, I'm going to take that. Hopefully she she not here, so she she don't hear the she don't she, grow. she not tapped in, so she 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 don't know that I caught the sauce just now. Talk to me about signing your son and tell tell me about this. All right, so like with him, I was bored on House Arrest, and it was like I was supposed to record a song, but like I ain't the uh, engineer. It was something wrong with it. It was something was going on. I'm like, I just got like, out of nowhere. I'm like, bro, man, you ready to rap with me? Cause he was playing this beat over and over, but I wasn't supposed to do that beat. It was a YouTube beat. So he's playing it over and over. I said, man, we ready to do this beat. What you thought? You thought I was playing, didn't you? He thought I was playing. He playing GTA and shit. I said, for real, bro, you ready? Come on, bro. We ready to go and we ready to go back and forth on it. You feel me? He's smiling, I am thinking I'm playing. But he got on that motherfucking mic, I'm telling him what to say. Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh. So you're a songwriter, hashtag yeah. songwriter. Yeah, so we going back and forth, and it was just that. Like he was like after we was done, he was so hyped. I told him, like, we gonna shoot a video. Dad, we gonna shoot a video. Dad, we gonna shoot a video. We shot a video. I posted it, that motherfucker went crazy. Everybody loved it. Like, yeah, I ain't never see that. People was saying something about him cussing, but I be that my People kid. gonna say anything. They ain't gonna say anything, but people's like, yeah, I love this song, boom. Like people over the jail telling me, like, yo, you did that song with your son, that motherfucker. Oh, it was like yeah, they going crazy, but that's my little man. So he get on my nerves. But my second oldest. That's great. Tell me, tell me about um, I mean, you don't have to get too personal or get into, but tell me about how something like that, like teaching, teaching about, about about rapping, and tell me about how that builds that relationship. I mean, it made the relationship stronger because you know he's capable of doing it. So it's like you can tell him, like when he's getting taught, he'll catch on fast. You feel me? So like I'm teaching him something, then he looking up to me at the same time. So it was like it's fun. Then I gotta teach him the business side of it. So you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But if he wanna take it serious, like he he told me, he was like, I wanna make a song for my girl. Like, for his girl. Yeah. I don't How know if she he? I don't know if she's still his girl now, but he's still your girl? And then he called me one time and said, Dad, I got two girlfriends. He got two girlfriends? I said, Dan, you wanna be like Boy, me? You gonna go to jail. <laughs> I'm like, Dan, you wanna be like me, cause I'm you feel me, but the relationship with him, and him is crazy. That's great. Yeah, it's crazy. That's the only thing a nigga need. I feel like. Hell yeah, like. That's the only, only and that's with all, um, especially my girls. It's just, but just with him because he the oldest, so he understand more, so he can. You feel me? Like that's why he in the interview. Like it's like he can learn from this interview what I'm saying, because it's life. Mm-hmm. I don't want to just treat him like a child. You mm-hmm. feel me? Because I mean, even though he's my son, it's like I want you to learn about life. What okay. life gonna have to bring throw your way, you feel what I'm saying? So I'm gonna teach you about females, I'm gonna teach you about money, I'm gonna teach you about business, like shit like that. Okay. You know? I hope if somebody watching this, I hope you were taking notes and you now you know something. I wanna shift it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, who are your favorite bottom rappers to work with? I know you work with a lot of them. Favorite work with I ain't even really Lately I ain't even worked with nobody that's gonna chill shit, but to work with like on some like I said, President Devo, definitely. Every time we link, Lil Chris, A One Bing, my motherfucking brother, and uh, Leek. Leek gonna come up. You feel me? I like work. I like working with Leek. You know, Leek gonna come up not fuck with me right now. For real? I don't want it. I, 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 <laughs> it's kind of eighteen plus over. Why? I would tell you. Let me tell you the reason why. For real. You want me to tell you why? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Basically, he not fucking with me because I got my ass about me, about women. 
Oh, I seen that. That's that's why he didn't text me back. None of that. I mean, is that what do you think about that? Uh, I don't want to indulge. Is in it that. gay? Huh? I don't know. I mean, I, that's that's you. It's not me. Gay. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, if if that's, I wouldn't do it. This question went the wrong way. If I would not do it, bro. And I didn't have females. It was too late by the time. I didn't have females say they would that they would do it, and I would never talk to them again, bro. It was it wasn't like I was like walking around the city like yeah like do that for me. Yeah, it was it just came up and like conversation. It was like tight shit. It was too late by the Uh time it was already happening. Oh no, bro! I, I listen, listen. As a man, if a female like say say you land on the bed, bitch is eating you up. She eating you up, right? Okay. And she just happened to go out her motherfucking way, whatever in the process of her mind, just go down. Mm-hmm. I got to grab him by the head. <laughs> got a puncher? I'm, I would do that. I take that charge. You not because you vulnerable, bro. Like you can't do nothing. Now, if that was a situation, but if you let it keep happening, then I, I she got like three solid type shit. No homo. No homo type shit. No no homo type shit. <laughs> no homo type shit. Bro, I'm the first one would have been a reflex, but like. A, Bro, that I tell I, a bitch will have a black eye if she ever think about going Lord then the, what's it called the gooch. I'm telling you, cause you I think about it. She down there already, so you got all this force and just mwah, okay. I take that charge, bro. Maybe maybe Ain't that's no just a personal my question. Ass, maybe I got too personal. Yeah, but I'm saying that's what you should have did. <laughs> that's what I should have did. But you let no. three licks. Nah, three licks. Nah, nah. nah, nah. It was three, four. Nah. <laughs> let's like get, let's talk about some other shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, alright, all right, ladies, I go. It was five. It was, mm, I'd be a hundred. It was five. He keep going up and up. It's gonna be six by the time the interview <laughs> over. <laughs> what type? What type of niggas a one beam is like? You met him in person? Cause I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm Did sorry. I meet him in person? What? I'm sorry. I'm thirsty to interview him and like I'm trying to see what type of nigga he is. I'm trying to get I'm him my best him. friend. The nigga been he commenting on my shit. Bro, he, he listen, bro. My shit. He he's a real, me. he's a real hustler. He's a real nigga. Don't let nobody ever tell you different. You feel me? He got his ways. Ways though, he watch and learn just like any other motherfucker would. He watch and learn from the people that's around him and shit like that. So it's like you know when to separate yourself. A lot of niggas don't know when to separate himself. So, yeah, you feel they, me? And real. that's how they get into a lot of shit. You feel me? He know when to separate himself. Like I say, top notch hustler. Like, I mean, you feel me? He go and get it when he need to get it, all times. And it's just like, that's my motherfucking brother. Like, real shit. I got you know you tatted on my motherfucking knee. Yeah, I should. Yeah. I'm sorry. That was a dumb question. If you ever met yeah, him in person, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm just shit. that was a thirsty interviewer question. <laughs> I'm sorry. As you can tell, I'm trying to interview his ass. As you can tell. Um, so I learned a lot. Um, I should get my hair. I should get the twisties. Get them twisties, man. Get them twisties. Then you ain't gotta wash it. So you know, you know, oil and dirt make your hair grow. Yeah. So yeah. So it's going to make your hair grow. Okay. Just don't let it lock up. You take it out. You know, get it twisted a couple times. Take it out so it don't lock. And then get it twisted again. Then your shit gonna be gone. And the second question is, I'm, these are closing out questions type shit. For sure. So the first question is, I'm gonna get them twisties. That's not, it's not a question. So I'm gonna get them twisties. Get them twisties. The second question is, um, are you going for ten or no? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going for ten. You going for ten? I want a um, an Asian baby mother, Asian Chinese baby mother, Asian. Let me know if you got. It. Let me know about the. I'm trying to go for that. Or like like Mexican or some type of like real Spanish. What female. you ever got a name in mind type shit? Do you have like how are your name system? I, it's crazy because I don't come up with the names. The, the I let woman, the females the take over that, but they got my last name. Well, most of all, mostly all my kids except for like two. But you, but like you let the woman come. I mean, like, I feel like it's a rightful thing to do. Like mm-hmm. a yeah. real nigga, not really yeah. thinking about like yeah, Sarjan. Like yeah. niggas not thinking about kids. Females like, creative with names. That's what I'm saying. Hell yeah, hell yeah, they creative as shit. Um, what do you want people to take from this interview? I mean, shit. We said we talked about a lot. We really did. We got in a little bit, uh, a little bit too deep. Music, ninety percent business, ten percent rap. And build a bond with your kids. Like, like I let him cuss around me. I don't let him cuss. Like, if he cussing too much, I don't. Shut up. I be like, shut up. But he'll cuss. Like, as long as he ain't cussing at me, I'm cool. 
But your kids gonna do what they wanna do when you're not around. So you might as well build that bond when you're around them. Just make sure they respect you. You feel me? Yeah, they they respect the shit out of me for real. They don't don't play with me for real. But make sure they respect you, of course. But and then with females, bro, if you pressed over female, I don't have no advice for them. Me I don't either. have no advice for you. If you press these hoes gonna female. do what they want. <laughs> it's too many females out here to be pressed for one. That's what I'm saying. You feel me? And then it's crazy because a lot of people think I'm the problem in a relationship, but I'm not. You feel me? I tell the truth. I'm being a nigga. You feel me? So really, I break up. I do the breakups. I quit. Damn. I don't keep. I don't chase. Like I'm, That's a, I'm a quitter with relationships. Like uh, no. if shit ain't going my way, I'm quitting because this is my life. So you told the bitch to keep your head up to before type shit. Right. Well, I told the bitch to go fuck another nigga. Boo 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 boo. Like uh, I, I think I didn't send some shit out. Uh, bitch, eat me. Like like I'm that tight nigga, bro. Like I'm a good. Don't get me wrong. I'm a good nigga, bro. It's just like when I'm fed up, I'm fed up, and I just play the type game she play, and it mm. is what it is. Like I'm. I, it's crazy. I'm. I got a good relationship with four of my baby mothers. Shit, I forgot to ask this question. You feel I me? Mean? Not not the not the fifth one. I well, just, not the first one. I forgot to ask this question. Um, it's Friday night. You just got paid. It's time to turn up. What you doing? Friday night. I just got paid. Time to turn up. Uh, time to turn up. See me. Like it's, I'm going for the threesome. Friday night. Let I just got paid. I'm going for the. I'm staying home. I'm getting this specifically. It can be this. It can. I drink whatever. But <laughs> you know what I do? What you drink, baby? Oh, I drink this. We getting it. Bring a friend. Why not? Friday night, I just got paid and we getting food. Mm-hmm. So, but but honestly, to keep it 100, it's nothing you can do about the hoes that's, that's not down to do that shit. It's nothing, exactly. You got to just chuck them off. Like, there's nothing you can do about yeah, that. You, so. it's, no, it's no turning the hole, converting the type thing. It's no type, it's no type of thing like that. I'm with the vibes, bro. Life too short. Yo. So 2024 summer, should we stay single or should we stay coupled up? Talk to me. Ask me. Stay single. I mean, stay single and couple. If you're a girl like girls, do both. You got the best of both worlds, so you ain't even got to go cheat. She going to bring all the bitches in. You feel mm-hmm. me? So y'all can run through all them bitches together instead of you running through all the bitches by yourself, but you still stuck on that girl that you could have been running through bitches with. Now you sick and you chasing shorty. You lost her. And then like, damn, I could've been ran through pictures. Like, should've, should've. get you a girl that like girls or stay single. For real, for real. No. I need to, I need to do some self evaluating, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> we here for the Tell Inky me. interview. Um, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> three get a sentence you had to give to the people before we close up. Say again. A sentence we had a to sentence. give to the people. A sentence It could be one, two, three I really don't care Just say something To the people Do the close out Do something You, you, you gotta do the intro you the, You're the guest here Alright so I'm a key, I like key shit Simple bro Optimism is the key of life Shit That was too deep Usually niggas be like Yeah fuck some hoes Optimism is the key of life Wow Simple That's it? That's simple that's, I mean, that's bro. That's, I probably got my, I probably had motherfuckers Googling what optimism is. You know what I'm saying? I need to Google it right now. <laughs> One more time, just to make sure I know what it is. Man, optimism is the key of life. I'm telling you. Yes, yes. You heard it here. Um, this episode is not sponsored by Espelon. We still broke niggas. We still over here by Mondum and this shit. So, um, but Espelon, if you want to ho- holler us, I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to keep cussing in front. I'm sorry. He good. He good. He a grown ass man. Grown ass man. Oh, <laughs> he just said grown ass man. Okay, he's a grown ass man. So if y'all watching this, he's 18 plus. He's good. Yeah, show him the shit. Show him the chain. Bust him down. Let me get my chain. I'll <laughs> get the Apple Watch. Maybe that's cool. I'm paying this. I'm still paying this off. Couple more payments. I can put it on money. But I'm sorry. I'm getting away with the interview. Um, what can people expect from you next? Uh, I'm trying to get into uh, content creation and streaming. Like, I'm trying to be on some cots and that shit. I'm trying to be on some, like, like yeah, music, of course, but like I said, I'm trying to have other source of income. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I can do music, streaming, gaming, streaming, and then just make lit ass mm-hmm. content. You feel what I'm saying? So. That's what you can expect from me. 
I'm gonna use my likeness. I'm gonna use my image to get this paper. Type yes, shit. sir. Uh, yeah. Me too. Even though I don't got no face tattoos, yeah. I'm gonna do it too. Shit, I might do a podcast. Mm, I, I fuck you have this. a place here. You have a place I here. Fuck you have a home here. Yeah. I was just about to tell you. I was just. About, I'm gonna save that for after the camera. But um, <laughs> um, oh, outro. This is the number one show on Inzer. You have tuned in to the number one interview this week. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, it's a buggy man. I'm sorry, I got it. We back in here. Tune in next week for the next person. I'm glad to. Day on in a motherfucking Damn. building. Yeah. I'm glad to see what you got. I can't wait for your album to drop too. I might do a mixtape with just all my kids on that bitch. For real? You mean you got nine? Fuck it, put me on there. Yeah, ain't I ain't doing nothing. I'm chilling. Do put me on there. I can do a little. I can do a little course. Let me do some auto tune. We gonna go crazy. I can put a blase network. I can do that. I can do that. I just gotta come up with a cool name for that motherfucker. Well, we see. We see what the plans we got here. Tune in next time to next week for the next banger. And thank you for tuning in. Goodbye.